So there are some other lines that uh, are unique that you might see on a chest x-ray. And um, these lines are the lines that are called the Kelly lines. So uh, for the Kelly lines, yeah, we'll define them. I will define them, talk about the different types. They will talk about if you see a Kelly lines on a chest x-rays, what does it mean? All right, then we'll talk about the possible causes, okay, of conditions. Or, or we'll say or conditions that can cause what a Kelly lines to actually appear on the x-ray. Okay, so looking at this, we said that our main lesson here is what are Kelly lines. Okay, what are Kelly lines? Now, um, we said that what Kelly lines are actually short horizontal lines that are visible on check x-rays. Okay, so they are short. All right, they are just short. Okay, but they are not transverse, they are horizontal. They are horizontal, horizontal, okay? If you don't know them, you won't even notice that they are there, okay? You won't even notice that they are there. Can I see? All right, Kelly lines, okay? So they are horizontal, and what do they indicate? They indicate that there is what? Edema or there's fibrosis in the lungs, all right? So they are named after what? Dr. Peter Kelly who first described them in 1933, okay? Talking about the types of Kelly lines that we have, we have the Kelly A lines. These ones are long, straight lines that radiate from the helium to the periphery, okay? Indicating a thickening of the interlobar septa, okay? Then we have the Kelly B lines. These ones are short, horizontal lines at the long periphery, that means like almost outside okay periphery means almost outside the lungs right so this one's to the at the long periphery and they indicate what interstitial edema or fibrosis then we have the kelly c lines these ones are fine reticular lines patterns throughout the lungs indicating more extensive for interstitial depth so if you want to see if you see kelly c lines these ones there are so many all right, there'll be so many all throughout what the lungs, okay? And this one indicates that what the lung is crazy in problem, right? Okay, so what disease conditions can cause these Kelly lines to actually appear on a check history? If the person has a pulmonary edema, if the person has a heart failure, if the person has a pulmonary fibrosis, all right? If the person has an interstitial lung disease, if the person has pneumonia, if the person has what pulmonary hypertension, okay. So any of this group, if you have a patient under your care and you do one or two X-rays, you are likely to see the Kelly lines, okay. So um, Kelly lines can be a subtle but important sign of an underlying lung disease. Their presence and distribution can help radiologists and clinicians to diagnose and monitor various conditions of the heart. Okay, so those are the Kelly lines, basically talking about the definition of the types, the causes. All right, that's it. And bye for now.